Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. I'm sure you know how to handle most nobility, but the game is nothing like the Free March's intrigues. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. Don't they sound delightful? I'm shocked we haven't invited the court to dinner at Skyhold. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer staring down Corypheus. Is all this worry just for my sake? You're going in there unarmed. If anything happens to you... Andraste, watch over us all. And now presenting... Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon, and accompanying him, Lord Inquisitor Trevelyan, son of Ban Trevelyan of Ostwick. Shepherd and leash of the wayward order of Templars, purger of the heretics from the ranks of the faithful. Remember to smile. This is all for show, my dear. Champion of the Blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? Oh, priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, Seeker, Cassandra, Allegra, Portia, Calogera, Philomena. Get on with it. Pantagast, 14th cousin to the King of Navarra, nine times removed, hero of Orlé, right hand of the divine. Madame Vivienne, first enchanter of the Circle of Magi, enchanter of the Imperial Court, mistress of the Duke of Ghislaine, renowned author, Tharic Thethrus. Head of noble house Thethrus, Desher of Kirkwall to the Dwarven Merchants Guild, Sir Callum Stanton Rutherford of Homley, commander of the forces of the Inquisition, former Knight Commander of Kirkwall, Lady Liliana, Nightingale of the Imperial Court, veteran of the Fifth Blight, mistress to the Queen of Ferelden, Seneschal of the Inquisition, and left hand of the Divine, and Lady Josephine Charette Montillier of Antiva City, Ambassador of the Inquisition. Mama and Papa. Are they in good health? Do they want for anything? Papa's perfectly happy in the studio. Mother is the same as always. Meaning she's after you to do more work. You always take her side. I don't take her side. I happen to think, as she does, you might attend to more of the estate's duties. Also, do stop slouching. Josephine! Oh, Josephine! Is this him? <sighs> Inquisitor, please allow me to present to you my younger sister, Yvette Gabriella Montillier. There can never be too many Lady Montilliers in Thedas, can there? <laughs> Inquisitor, I've heard so much about you, but not as much as I want. Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. Is it true? You and Josephine are going to elope and move to the Anderfels and join the Grey Wardens and fight Darkspawn? Yvette, I want to know. I already packed our bags, didn't I, darling? I knew it. Inquisitor, please give her no more ammunition. I beg you. This may be my only chance to hear about when Josephine was a girl. Oh, yes. As she told you about when she was ten and... Yvette. Stop. Fine. Uh, what about when we were climbing the cliffs by the... No. She once told the Duke of... Absolutely not. Hmm. She still plays with a doll collection when no one's looking. Yvette! That's absurd. Absolutely preposterous. <laughs> Tell me about yourself, Lady Yvette. This is the first time I've encountered any of Josephine's family. She would forget to mention the artists. I've been studying painting under Antiva's royal tutors. You should be proud, Josie. I'm going to be exhibiting my work next season in the city's biggest salon. 
Have you actually sat down and finished a painting yet? I must wait for my inspiration. And I must wait for your tutor spirits. Enjoying the ball? I see many of you. The dancing is so dull, your worship, but the Empress's gallery is magnificent. Yvette. Sorry, Josie. Go on, Josephie. Half a royal must be empty. So many of the Empire's finest are in attendance. They've noticed the Empress paying you special attention, but they don't quite know how to take advantage of it yet. This uncertainty won't last long, I'm afraid. Which power should the Inquisition throw its weight behind? Selene has held the throne successfully for years. I see no profit in ousting her. Gaspard has run military campaigns, but never a kingdom. His transition would be... let us say, chaotic. I'll see you later. Another time. Are you happy to see me at all, Josie? It may not have been wise to attend this particular engagement, Yvette. I didn't want to come. Mother made me. At least Haram Sharal has such pretty gardens. They're so darling, I took out my parchment. Not another book of poetry. <laughs> I've an idea, Josephine. You should invite all the family to Skyhold for the summer. You'd be bored the second you stepped past the gates. Skyhold is a fortified castle, not a holiday resort. Don't you miss us? Of course I do, Yvette. There is just so much work undone. You always put these tasks ahead of us. Well, I'll see if I can come home for your gallery showing. How does that sound? Oh, that would be so nice. Do you promise? Yes, I promise. Oh, wonderful. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspard before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspard's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. It's a relief to do something other than fight demons and horrors. You still face demons and horrors. These ones are simply better dressed. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. The Grand Duchess tried to convince me Gaspard is the traitor, but I'm not sure I buy it. Florian and her brother are as thick as thieves, but she would give him up in an instant to save herself. Then the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Celine is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. I thought we were here to stop the assassination. Listen to me carefully, Inquisitor. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes, the best path is not the easiest one. You're asking me to decide what's best for Orlais. More than that, whoever controls the Imperial Throne will affect all of Thedas. You cannot stop Corypheus without a decision. You must support someone, or all is lost. Then we should support Selene. She is the rightful ruler. Why would we say otherwise? Because she led Orlais to this point. I say Gaspard, provided his sister is wrong about him. I would suggest Briala. She could bring true peace, not only to the Empire, but also to its elves. This is, however, your decision, Inquisitor, not ours. We came here to save Selene. Then you must not only save her life, but also her Empire. That means giving her a victory over both Gaspard and Briala. If there truly is proof Gaspard's in league with Corypheus, that would be a start. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the royal wing, that he knows about the assassination, which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access. And in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. 
Be careful, Inquisitor. Inquisitor? Hello? What do you think of helping Briala take control? <laughs> oh. Oh, you... You were... Serious. I cannot recommend it. Whatever Briella offers, she, of anyone here, has the least reason to stay loyal to us. I'll see you later. Another time. <laughs>